Hey pilots, let's jump into the frontier. This is going to be the video where we hit max gen, gen X, gen 10, whatever you want to call it. Currently the max level in Titanfall 2 is 10.49. We're going to be getting 10 in this video. And there was a challenge sent out, Kraber only from gen 9 all the way to gen 10. We accepted that challenge and this is the final match that we have for the challenge. Anyway guys, let's get that pilot. We already missed him twice, and because of that, we're a little bit angry. So we're going to go on a killing spree. Why not? Let's teach him how to play. Let's show them the Kraber in action. Sniper rifling, quick scoping, 180-ing, hard scoping, 6.10-ing. All that good stuff, guys. Let's go. Hey, he stole my grunt kill. Hey. Okay, guys. What's coming up in this video? Well, we're going to look at the loadout. We're going to look at what how most games went, what they look like. We're going to talk about the Titan because, hey, Kraber only. You can't cheat. You can't get into your Ronin and turn people into pepperoni. You can't get into your Tone and cheat. You can't get into your Legion and be too tanky. You can't get into your Scorch and get last place. And you can't jump into your North Star and ask for a buff, I guess. That's all I can really think about for North Star. Anyway guys, and we're going to be talking about practice, how we went from being absolutely terrible, hating the Kraber sniper rifle, to now being probably my most favourite weapon in Titanfall 2. So let's do this. Alrighty guys, for the loadout we are using cloak. For times like this we are a bit worried, you don't know where the enemy pilot went, you can cloak up, you can run away, reassess the situation, see what's going on and look for other opportunities like this one. Boom! Goodbye. For the boost there, guys, we just threw them out. We are using the ticks. These are not the best idea, but someone recommended them, so I was like, we're going to use it. We're going to use the ticks. Let's do it. So for these ticks, you basically throw them out. They are little red ant things that blow up. And I actually use them for a lot more damage in regards to titans i don't really care about pilots i don't really care about grunts or stalker kills i actually use them with titans so ticks are really good for you guys who love destroying titans if you throw two of them out rodeo the titan that is just insane sometimes the ticks will actually blow up put the titan on critical and when you grab the battery the titan blows up so it's pretty cool right other times you can throw the two ticks down throw out one or two thunderbolt uh thunderbolt sort of what would you call it charges or ball of electricities and when you throw those out you actually do cause a ton of damage most people think about ticks for pilots and grunts and you sort of throw them out nothing happens what happened to those two ticks i threw out absolutely nothing we got no benefit from throwing those out but with titans i mean they stick to titans like glue so you can see there guys on the banner 9.49 this is pretty funny partridge why aren't you playing i was hanging up washing <laughs> and the guy's like here it comes no problem carry on with your washing that's cool anyway guys for the rest of the loadout we have got art grenade art grenades are really good for pilots who are new to the kraber rifle they cannot get any kills whatsoever so what you need to do is have art grenades prioritize these over using the kraber shock and slow down the enemy pilots first and then get your kill it's that easy and not only will you get your kill you'll get a lot more kills it's a lot of good practice art grenades are just insane and they are a must-have for this loadout we've got the kraber sniper rifle and what attachments are we running let's have a look we have speed reloader because you don't need extended mags usually with the kraber sniper rifle most times you take one shot and then you can reload you might get a kill feed with three or four shots but that's totally fine because you have four bullets and it's a one hit kill you don't need the extended mags but you do need to reload fast just in case you miss them one or two times and you quickly need to reload get more bullets and take another shot or kill an additional pilot so speed reload it i'm using it all the time you can see it all the time you definitely need it we also have the attachment the fast aim so we can aim down the sights a lot quickly quicklier that's a new word a lot faster and the reason for this 
without it, I used it with uh, extended mags and speed reloader at the start, you just get absolutely no kills. The reason I used it at the start is my Kraber was such a low level, I couldn't have two attachments, and then I actually had to unlock the attachment before I could use it, and then unlock the ability to have two attachments so I could actually have speed reloader in addition to fast aiming down sights. For the quick scope you just saw there on the little stalker, that's why you need it. You can aim in half a second, make your shot, and then you're all good to go. So we've covered ticks, we've covered all the loadout, that's all good. We have the Thunderbolt for Titans, guys. And that's just for the tick combo. It really helps you get your own Titan. You can swap to the Thunderbolt, chuck out a few ticks. Your percentage will literally go from 0 to 100 real quick. And then you can just deploy your Titan, and it's all good to go. While we're talking about Titans, what have we been doing with the Titan? Well, when you get your Titan, because we are Kraber only, and you can't cheat using the Titan, you'll see me use it now. You literally just drop it anywhere. It does not really matter. And then what you do is you toggle between follow mode and guard mode to position your Titan a lot better, and to also prepare it for what's coming on that side of the map. So, to go into more detail, what you want to be doing is using follow mode when your titan is in a bad location. You don't want to be using follow mode when your titan is under stress, if it's been attacked or killed by other people. You want to use guard mode. Now, the reason for that, if you use follow mode, your titan will keep retreating. It won't actually do too well in the battle, and it will die a lot quicker. A lot faster. Why am I getting these mixed up? So what you want to be using is guard mode when it's under stress, and it will actually get a few kills here and there. Don't expect too much from the Titan. Usually when you get your Titan full, let's say you call in a Ronin or a Legion, you get a few Titan kills, you get lots of points for that, quite a lot of score and attrition for that. You'll get a few pilot kills, and you can really farm all of the grunts, all of the spectres, that's just light work. But when you're not using your Titan and putting it on auto mode, None of that really happens. It doesn't go out seeking Titan kills. It doesn't go out looking for pilots. It doesn't go out running or walking over all of those computer generated units like grunts. So you really need to make sure that you're on point. You're looking for action as much as possible. Killing as many pilots as you can. But also farming up the grunts with your Kraber sniper rifle. And just remember for the Titan, this ability is actually really underused or underutilized, but the toggle between follow and guard mode is actually really, really good. So give it a shot in your next game. Follow mode's really good if you drop your Titan in a bad spot, you can bring it into the action and then pop it on guard mode. When it gets a few kills, if the enemy Titans have moved to another side of the map, run over there, put it on follow mode. Don't leave it on follow mode 24 seven because you're gonna give away your location. Alrighty guys, how did most games go? Well, most games we average between 16 and 20 kills. Most games we got in the top 3, and if not, we were definitely 4th. So they actually went quite well. And for most games, I mean between, let's say, level 20 and level 49 for that region. In that range. Getting up to level 20, all of that was just practice, we were doing bad, we would get first some games, and pilots were like, wow, you're crazy, you're so good at the Kraber. Other games we were dead last, and a Gen 10 would come in with the car submachine gun, or either a auto, and would finish up legit on two kills. And that's not good. But, those were all practice games. So, oh, get off my Titan Gaming King 4207, what are you doing? So most games went quite well, I noticed that the Titans and the Ticks barely did anything, and that it was just up to me, the lone soldier with my Kraber sniper rifle, to put in the work. And also, you do need warm up games. Usually the first one or two games of the day would be terrible, and then from there you're getting first place, or second place, really consistently, you're holding your own, the quick scope's on point, everything's going well. So. For my sort of words of wisdom, if you wish, what can you do to start out with a Kraber rifle, to start out 
with a similar challenge using Kraber only for a whole regen, what can you do? How can you get those 500 kills on your lifetime kill count? The awesome green skin, the gen 6.11 or 12, wherever we are at, how can you get that? Well, you've just got to take it as it comes. You're going to have bad games, you're going to have good games, but you do need to practice on the grunts, the stalkers, enemy pilots all the time. As soon as you see a little grunt saying, hey, enemy titan inbound, or something like that, just kill him. If he's on the other side of the map, just shoot him. You've got to, every single game, focus on how many times you're aiming down the scope, how many bullets you're shooting, it better be a lot, and how many kills, whether they're pilot kills or computer-generated opponent kills, how many of those you're getting, and focus on maximizing them. You want to spend 90% of your game in the scopes, shooting, reloading, jumping around, getting kills. There we go, guys. 17 kills, 0 titan kills, and 16 minion kills. 100 points. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. It could have been better, but we're always under pressure in these last games, guys, because we're going to regen directly after. And there we are, 6.12 on the Kraber. Ready to regen. Stop that matchmaking right now, and let's get into it. How long did it take to get here, guys? Well, 175 hours, to be exact. But... I'd say about 10 of those hours were the campaign, and you probably spend about 10% of your time in menus like we are now, or 10% of your time searching for matches, talking to friends, making parties, waiting between matches. So if you take off 10%, let's just say 15, well, 17 hours. So you would be looking at, oh, quick maths, under pressure. Probably about 150 to 160 hours, I would say. Somewhere around there for most people. For really good pilots who level up and made the most of double XP weekend, probably about 140. So there is quite a large time investment. There's the OG Gen 10 patch. Oh, look at that. That is good. Head of the pack, Flames, get that equipped. And Stoic C. And we can't get Stoic Dark. Ah, silly, silly respawn. Why do you do this to us pilots? Alrighty guys, that is looking pretty sweet. So what we're going to be doing now is opening the Advocate Gibbs. So we have 32 of those. Oh, Frontier Urban. I, I've said this in the last video, but I swear the rewards you get are based on what you use. So if you guys really want Kraber skins, use a Kraber all the time. Look at that, Kraber, Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt. That's literally all we've used. The game knows. Kraber camo, there we go. Pilot camo, well, obviously we're using a pilot. Kraber camo, pilot camo. Yep, it definitely knows. We didn't get a camo for either a auto. We didn't get a camo for any pistols. And that's because we didn't use them. So if you guys are really after camos for a particular gun... Make sure you're using that gun and open Advocate Gifts after you've used that weapon. So we're going to go through here, check out some of these new skins we unlocked because you may or may not have seen them already. And we're going to have a look at the Kraber, see what cool skins we got there. And you can see the double takes Gen 11.4, but we will be getting the Kraber to Gen 10. We're going to commit to that because it is such an awesome weapon. If you aren't using it, if you haven't used it, Honestly, yes, it's difficult, yes, it's challenging, but quite simply, you're missing out. It is one of the most enjoyable, one of the most fun weapons in Titanfall 2 to use. The learning curve does hurt, but once you master it, it is so much fun. And other pilots, when they're there snipering, they'll just have a laugh, and, you know, you have little battles, things like that. So we're going to look at the stats here. They took quite a hit. Learning the Kraber, using the softball SMR in my previous gen... They took quite a hit. But beforehand, I believe we were about 65% win ratio. The MVP in top 3 is still pretty strong. And this is just showing you guys the duration, plus a couple of stats so you can see what things look like for Gen X. And the KD ratio took a massive hit. You can see in my previous video, we were about 9 or 10. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed that video. Let me know how your own journey to Gen X, Gen 10, or Max Gen, whatever you want to call it, is going in Titanfall 2. Have a lovely day, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.